And what I'm going to go show you how to do today is to convert any regular font into a font that is ready to use on your website, and that is called a web font. Now, there's a free way to do this. So again, I'm at fontscroll.com, and I'm going to come over here and hit web font generator. Again, that's going to give me some options, and I'm going to hit choose file here. It's going to want you to check this box, which basically says that you have the rights to use the font as a web font. You always want to check with the licensing and make sure you're not going to violate anybody's policies. And then I'm going to go to add fonts. And I have actually saved the font that I want to use to my desktop. Here it is. It's a .otf. That means it's an open type font. And it's going to give me a little box there that shows my progress. And that was it. That's how simple it was to create it. Now I'm going to hit download my kit, which is going to download the web font that has been generated. This is obviously going to take a little bit of time. It's downloading several files at once. Okay, it's green. That means it has gone to my downloads folder. So I am simply going to open my downloads folder and it's going to come as a zipped file. So go ahead and if I can find it here. Okay, there it is. Um, I'm going to unzip it by double clicking it. And here you're going to see what it's going to give me are just several different font files. Now, these right here, the SVG, the .ttf, the .woff files are the ones you're just going to use to upload to your Angie Makes themes so that you can use custom fonts with your Angie Makes theme. So I hope that makes sense for you and that you are able to generate and use your custom